We have another new update for the DJI Mini Pro 4 and the RC2 controller. Watch to find out what's changed and what's new. Today, June 27th, 2024, DJI has released a firmware update for the DJI Mini Pro 4 and the RC2 controller, as well as the DJI Fly app in that controller. The new versions are as follows. The firmware for the aircraft itself has been upgraded to version 01.00.0600. The RC2 firmware has been upgraded to version 02.02.0100. Or if you have the RCN2 controller, that's the one without the screen, it's been upgraded to version 01.01.0300. And the DJI Fly app has been upgraded to version 1.13.8 for both the Android and iOS versions as well as the version inside the RC2 controller itself. So what's changed or new? The main issue addressed is added support for DJI's enhanced transmission for some countries and regions. Though there is little specific information about this, it's my understanding from various sources of information that this refers to 4G and LTE cellular control if you have the required 4G dongle modules. This is a forum post from a DJI administrator answering this very question. Thus far, this functionality has been very limited for DJI drones and has been available mainly only in mainland China. I am wondering if this means we're going to see this rolled out to more countries and regions. I hope so. This would be a great added feature for enhanced long-range control of your drone, as long as your controller and drone are in an area with good cell service. It might also aid in return to home functions and various other things. Again, I'm speculating somewhat here as information seems somewhat scant, so please leave any thoughts or information you may have in the comments below after the video if you happen to know more about this feature. Of course, as usual, the update includes the typical fixed some known issues bullet point without further details. So after updating, I went through and tried out everything to see if I could see anything that was fixed or changed. The very first thing I noticed upon powering up my controller was it was requesting that I calibrate the controller's compass. This made me suspect that they had addressed the jiggly compass issue. So I went ahead and calibrated the compass and launched the drone to see what I could see. You may have noticed with the last couple of updates, the compass on the lower left of the controller screen or your phone screen seemed to jiggle about wildly. This seems to be somewhat better now, though not perfect. This is a real relief and I'm glad this was addressed. However, clearly this still needs some work as I did notice some odd behavior from time to time with it jiggling about. But there is no doubt in my mind that it is better. I wasn't able to see any other significant changes to any of the other functions. But as you can see, today was a cool, windy and rainy day in Western Canada and I really wasn't able to get the drone up and flying for any length of time to do a more thorough check of everything. So if you have noticed anything yourself, again, please leave that information in the comments below. As always, after updating, I suggest you carefully go through all of the menus and ensure your safety features, return to home features, and control settings are where you want them. There's nothing worse than doing an update, not checking these, and realizing too late that something significant has reverted to the default setting and you're just finding out mid-flight when trying to do a return to home or some complex shot needing fine control and the drone doesn't behave in the way you expect. Go through and check everything after every update. It's always a really, really good idea to make sure things work the way you expect them to work. So to summarize, this update does seem to fix the biggest niggling issue I've had with my drone and the jury's still out on the enhanced transmission update for new regions and countries. 
I'm curious if we'll get this new cell network functionality here in Canada as well as in other regions and countries. Again, let me know if you have any information about this. As always, thanks for watching and hit those buttons below to get notified of the latest information as soon as possible. We'll see you next time.